pasting. This includes the part of uh, physical weathering and chemical weathering that you must have read in the NCRTs also, so that should be thoroughly prepared. Uh, mass pasting again includes landslides uh, and movements of lands that you have read in the NCRT. All important thing in uh, these parts is that you have to prepare the diagrams also uh, and practice it thoroughly. Then there is landform, slopes and drainage. So again drainage you have read in 9 to 12th NCRT, so no special preparation for that. Geomorphic cycle is an important part. It should be searched from the internet if you uh, don't find it in the book. There is Davis cycle or you can uh, discuss with some geography guy, he can help with this thing. Uh, it is a question which is asked a uh, number of times in the examination. Morphology and selection to structure and lithology, I don't know what is this. Uh, then there is application of geomorphology in mineral prospecting, civil engineering, hydrology and environmental studies. Now this is an important topic. If we see that uh, although it is not uh, have been asked uh, particularly in the examination, but if we see the uh, examination pattern and the competition in the examination each topic has to be prepared <coughs> in a good manner you can prepare two or three uh, pages for this thing uh, just search the internet or i'll try to provide a link for this thing where you can you can check that how uh, geomorphology can be applied for these things geomorphology of indian subcontinent i would uh, cover in the uh, next uh, video then there is aerial photographs and the interpretations, merits and limitations. Aerial photographs is an inter interesting topic and it should be prepared because, uh, because uh, it, uh, it is uh, covered in the forestry also. So aerial photographs uh, is a uh, overlapping topic of uh, geology and uh, forestry. It is a quite simple topic. Uh, again, uh, diagrams are important and uh, you can just search the internet, you can get the idea of the AL photography. Don't read the thick books of 600 and 700 pages that are specialized for this thing only. Electromagnetic spectrum that uh, have been prepared, uh, we have read in the class 9th or uh, I think 11th or 12th in CRT in the physics books. Orbiting satellite and center sensor systems, again we have to prepare the uh, satellites and their mechanism, it is quite simple topic that can be prepared. Sensor system is important thing, you can search in the, uh, on the uh, ISRO's uh, uh, site, you can find some data. If you find comfort, you are comfortable with that thing, you can read it, otherwise leave it. Then there is Indian remote sensing satellite, satellite data products. IRS is, is a famous topic and everybody prepares it for the GS also. Now satellite data products is a topic which is quite uh, complex. I have one PPT for that for which I would be uploading on my blog so you can take it and read it from there. Application of remote sensing in geology again when you would be reading the subject you can uh, very much relate how uh, remote sensing can be applied in geology. Now there is GIS and GPS. These two important topics also uh, overlap with the forestry so you have to prepare uh, this topic and this topic is important for the general studies also. Uh, this topic is given good in the forestry book and GPS uh, you can uh, prepare from the internet. It's a simple topic, quite understandable for all science guys. Now third part is structural geology for which uh, I'll be uploading another uh, video. Uh, it is one of the toughest most part of the uh, geology. Um, but uh, somehow I'll try how to prepare this topic. It's quite interesting also and uh, logical also so okay for that goodbye